In this video, I will show you how to create basic virtual machine templates for Windows 10 and 11. And we will be able to use them to create virtual machines without using new virtual machine wizard. And we start by creating a regular virtual machine by clicking File, New Virtual Machine. Make sure that Typical Recommended is selected here and click Next. Here we need to select I will install the operating system later and click Next. Make sure that for Quest operating system, Microsoft Windows, and for the version, Windows 11 x64 is selected, and click Next. Here, I will name my virtual machine underscore win underscore template, and click Next. Because Windows 11 requires a TPM chip, we need to generate or enter a password here. I will be generating my by clicking generate. Make sure remember the password on this machine in credential manager is selected and click next. I will leave everything here on defaults and click next and finish. Now we can modify settings in this template that we want our clones to have when we create virtual machines from it. I will begin by creating a template without any operating system. Let's say that this will be a template for our templates. Let's click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. First, I'll remove the printer and the sound card because I don't use any of those in my virtual machines. For network adapter, I will select Bridged and replicate physical network connection state. For processors, I will change number of processors to 1 and a number of cores per processor to 4. And for memory, I will select 8 gigabytes and click OK. Next step that we need to make is to create a snapshot for this base template. So I will right click on the virtual machine. Uh, hover over snapshot and then take snapshot I will name it underscore base and click take snapshot and that was everything that we needed to do to create basic template now I will continue by adding Windows 11 ISO for our Windows 11 template and to do that we need to go back to edit virtual machine settings select CD DVD then select use ISO image file and then you need to browse for your Windows 11 ISO image file. I will browse for mine and I have plenty of them here. I will select my Windows 11 ISO and click OK. Now we need to create another snapshot and for that let's right click on our virtual machine, go to snapshots, take snapshot and I will name it underscore Windows 11 and click take snapshot. And now for Windows 10, I will need to revert back to our base template. For that, let's right click on our virtual machine, go to snapshots and click on our base snapshot and click yes. And now let's perform the same steps that we did with Windows 11. Let's click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, select CD DVD, use ISO image file, browse, and let's find our Windows 10 ISO. I will select this one. And one more step that we need to do is go to Options, and here uh, for our version, we need to select Windows 10 and click OK. Then let's make another snapshot. Right click on our virtual machine, snapshots, take snapshot, and I will name it underscore Windows underscore 10 and take snapshot. And now we need to convert our snapshots into a template. For that, let's go back to Edit Virtual Machine Settings, Options, Advanced, and let's check Enable Template Mode, and click OK. Now let's try to create virtual machines from our template. 
so to do that let's right click on it go to manage and then clone click next here and as you can see you can select the template that you want to use for your virtual machine I will select Windows 10 first and click next create full clone I will name it uh, Windows 10 and finish okay let's do the same for Windows 11 I will name it uh, Windows 11 and finish okay let's try to start them and see what happens now let's wait for them to load and as you can see uh, when then virtual machine has loaded windows 10 iso image and when 11 virtual machine has windows 11 iso loaded it's a minor difference uh, it seems just the logo is different a bit and that's it for this video in the next one i will show you how to add an auto unattend file to our templates so that part of the windows installation will complete uh, automatically so see you next time